I'm picking up multiple Maverick signals on the moon's surface. What is this? This is the last one of these that we're gonna get. Is what this is. How can you tell? I can sense it too. It's him. So you're saying that other was a copy? Seemed like it. Well, this is it. Sigma, I'm coming for you. Coming for you. Here we go, so, Hunters. Let's move. A on. lot of the X finales take place in space. Somehow this one feels the best to me. I don't know if it's just my bias towards this versus the PlayStation ones, which are basically all the ones that were taking Roger. place in space of some kind. Really just Final Weapon, and then, um... Actually, I guess it really was just Final Weapon, because... Yeah, five's the other finale is Zero were... Space, and six is Gates Laboratory, so... Alright, this is really only the second time we're going to space. Um, but it doesn't have an offensive background this time. Yeah, it's not terrible. Uh, which is really, really nice. It's very Greco-Roman. For some reason. India, can you hear me, everyone? So, that'll happen no matter who you get or choose as a navigator, and their dialogue will reflect who you're talking to, which is nice. Um, and I'm going to be going through this with the full Icarus arm. So, we're showcasing basically all of X's abilities that way, which I'm glad I got a chance to do. I had the foresight to do that. We've got some mix of classic and modern enemies. We've got the new generation Reploids, as well as those rotating cannons from X1, even though they're flamethrowers now, whatever. It's nice to see them back. Uh, you'll see that the background is kind of transitioning towards the Greco-Roman League. We're saying so there's some columns back there, and now we're getting this stuff in the foreground, and we're going to be entering Sigma's palace. Um, the moon. Moon palace. It's a moon palace. But uh, we're not going to get too far in, because we're finally... Getting to fight Vile in right armor in this one. <laughs> so, you still refuse to give up your struggle, huh? Are you so blind that you've somehow convinced yourself that hope remains? As long as I'm standing, there's hope. Such I'll defeat both you and Sigma. <laughs> I suppose it'd be a waste to just destroy you now. Maybe I'll wait till the last possible moment and have a little fun with this. So, as you might be able to guess, this is the last time we're going to be fighting Vile. Uh, and I think it's cool that it's one that actually introduces a lot of new mechanics for him. He won't do his overdrive attack the same way. What is going to happen is we're going to have to knock him off the right armor, which is really, really easy. Uh, basically, all you need to do is a guard break attack, which at this point in the game is X is very simple, because you can do it in a half charge. Uh, this is how boarding the right armors in Bamboo Pandemonium stage should have been. Uh, yeah. There's a very clear hitbox on the top, and uh, even though he's using a custom right armor, I do believe this is a variation of Brown Bear. It's either Brown Bear or Goliath. I will double check that while we talk. It's interesting when it doesn't actually pilot. It. Yeah, and I think that in its own right is really interesting. So on the one hand, it's kind of a strange departure and makes the fight objectively a little bit easier. But on the other hand, it marks a growth for both of the characters. Here, while I'm talking, you can... Sir oh, no, he's already dead. <laughs> uh, so I'll look that up while we're going through other stuff a little bit later. What I was getting at at the growth is that X is now capable of fighting Vile just easily. Uh, there's no worries about the right armor. X can disarm him from it or uh, knock him off board of it or whatever. Uh, this also goes towards that. Is you are now basically the stage enemies are signals. It's all signals, and you're taking them out pretty easily, which will lend itself to the actual Sigma fight that's coming up in a moment, where it's a lot harder. Uh, it all kind of fits with that growth theme. Vile grows as well because he's now capable of piloting a right armor as if it were a secondary part of himself. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to board it. He can fly around autonomously and stand on it like a cocky asshole while still maintaining the battlefield. And granted, X handles it more, but the fact that Vile can do that in the first place is really fascinating. And it's like, holy shit, does that mean you're part of that? Is Brown Bear a part of your Reploid consciousness <laughs> now? Is that a new generation thing? Which, uh, by the way, I think this was uh, asked about earlier on. It is kind of implied that this vile body is a new generation Reploid, since he talks about, you know, a new world for just new generation Reploids and whatever. You could kind of also counterpoint, though, that Vile doesn't have any allegiances and might just be talking about what's happening, but really is just excited to fight X and Zero again. So, you know, you could kind of go either way. It's never outright stated. Uh, if he is, he never uses the copy ability at all. 
Uh, although, you could also argue that that's how he's been fought so many times in this one. So there's yeah. a lot of kind of speculation that you can go well, into I here. I think he just teleports away every time, doesn't he? Yeah, but it also, might be alternate bodies. So this is now a very tense run. <laughs> this stage goes from very simple to exceedingly complicated very fast. You need to be really good at doing do- or, uh, jumps and dodges. And uh, pardon my psyching myself <laughs> up here. Uh, like I mentioned way back in Optic Sunflower stage. Oh, that wasn't second. That was me getting uh, health Help. back. Yeah. It's really hard to read where these crystals' hitboxes are at. Like, right there, I should have been dead. But luckily enough, multiple tries into doing this run, I get past. And you can ignore them. I like fighting them, because Sigma's a plague that needs to be eradicated <laughs> from the face of this Earth moon. Uh, and now we get a nice sort of long walk fork. We get special shutters just for this. This really cool environment. Uh, it's kind of implied that you've been going up a tower, so the horizon line being missing is kind of okay. Uh, it makes for an interesting backdrop. Some moon would be there, but that'd be very predominantly gray. I think the black backsplash is really nice. And now we see Sigma in his actual Welcome, true form. It's good to see you again, X. Our meeting was fated, X. So our destinies come to an end right here, right now. And I want to go into it in a bit. I'm going to let them go through ending. this real quick, though. And you, X, are an essential part of it. Your dedication to what you refer to as justice is what first got me thinking. I realized the imperfection of this world and decided I must change it. Don't blame me for your insanity, Sigma. <laughs> it's too late, X. The gears are in motion. There's no turning back now. My children were the ones, X. The new generation Reploids were the ones. My children are responsible for the development of space, mankind's lifeline. Children? What are you talking about? The Jacob Project, the program that gave birth to the new generation Reploids. It was all my doing. The world that was birthed by that plan rightfully belongs to me. Now, X, you will be destroyed along with the rest of this decayed world. God, so, just so much to talk about there. Before I forget, Devil Bear is the name of Vile's right armor in this one. So there's that. So you're get that sword, Sig and Blade's real cool. So let's talk about Sig. You say he's a much more uh, sort of uh, grounded design, which I totally agree with. And in my opinion, this, with the plot developments that are going to be occurring, works really extremely well. This, is, to me, strikes me as the physical embodiment of the Sigma virus. He's no longer a wireframe, he's no longer infecting other bodies. This is new technology mixed with his old viral state, it's and it's over. visibly obvious. Oh, now you're in for it. That part right there is really neat mechanically. In hard mode, this is thing that I mentioned you. before, when you're fighting Vile, Vile will still be too powerful to defeat normally, and whoever your secondary character is will stay behind to hold them off, and you have to do the rest of that stage with just one character, regardless of what your health is at. Uh, and when you get grabbed there, there's special instances where it's like, shit, what do I do? And then your other character will come in fully healed and save the day, and you resume the fight as normal, which is really fucking cool. And uh, in easy mode, this is the final boss fight. Not to spoil anything. Uh, but anyway, so Sigma. Sigma has been basically implying now that the new generation Reploids are his children, and you can kind of take that as much like he was the original Reploid, based off of X's blueprints and kind of the start of all of the problems of the X storyline. These new Reploids are basically him in spirit. Could you... You couldn't... destroy... the old world? No age! So... That's that. Uh, that'd be the end of easy, but outside of that cute ass Sigma icon down there, we've got one more thing to take care of first. Already reached the limits of your abilities? You can't even beat one measly villain like me, you worthless pupil. Shut your trap! Today I'll demonstrate that I can surpass you! Ugh. 